Hey, what's up everybody? I'm going to show you how to raise the 5L4B to a 7L6B Turk's head knot. I'm using a super jumbo permalock needle to lace this event. And what I do is I cut the end at an angle and I'll burn the ends of it and screw it right onto the post inside just like so. That's how that works. Okay, so let's get started. What you're going to do is you're going to take the starting cord of the 5L4B and the running cord here. The running cord is going to go to the right of the starting cord. If you don't know how to tie the 504B, I have a video on that as well. So, make the first pass by going under, keeping to the right of the starting cord, like so. Alright, so, in any case, when you tie these, you're going to be going under, over, under, over, alternating the passes, okay? So, so that one goes under starting out. That one will go over. This one will go under. Again, keeping to the right of the starting cord. Untwist it as you go here. And you can kind of space it out. You don't have to worry so much about that later on. So here, this one likes to get a little jumbled up here on this pass here. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this. You finish going over you're going to go over this one here all right and then you can go under this one right here okay so keep it to the right of this cord here all right you guys got that over over again under and here. So if, since you went under here, you're going to be up going over this one, under this one here. Alright. So you should have them look like this. So you finish by going over at the end, right? Now what you want to do here is you want to go keep to the right of the starting cord in between your starting cord and your first pass that you made. So stay between those two cords here. You want to go over the first one here to the right of the starting cord and you want to go under here. The second one. Okay. like that. All right. This will get jumbled up a little bit. Just remember to stay in between these two cords here when you're running the passes, okay? So stay to the right of the starting cord. You went under here, so you'll go over here. And let's bump that out of the way. And you're going to go under here and over. All right. I use my pre I use my thumb to apply pressure where I'm doing the knots and passes kind of keep myself organized here now you went over the last pass what you want to do is move this out a little bit these like to get squish so here you gotta go under the first one here okay so over the last you gonna go under the first one alright again keeping to the right of its neighbor right there All right. Keep it a little bit loose. All right, separate the cords a little bit. So you may, you went under here to the right of this one. Now you want to stay to the right of all the way up next to this one here. So under, over, and go under this one here. So, sometimes these cords want to cross, it's easy to get confused. So just remember, you're staying to the right of this cord right here, okay? This is the cord that you're running parallel to. You went under, you're going to go over, and then your last pass at the end, you're going to be going under, then over again. So you should be finishing going over your last cord, 
weird bike, should I say? Like so. All right. You're gonna pull this through, okay? You gotta pull through, man. You just gotta pull through. Okay. Now that completes your raising the 5L4B to a 7L6B. All right. If you guys need, if you guys have any questions, let me know. All right. Voila. Now from here, you would actually continue this the 7L6B pineapple knot. We'll show that at another time. All right. You can dress it up. It's a little crooked, but you guys got the point, right? Good to go. Also, when you finish this, you technically finish it by going underneath here to finish another bite. But what I like to do is run it all the way up. Okay, like so. And I've explained this before in the 5L4B. But I like to run it all the way up to complete the last bite. And then what I'll do is I'll take this cord here, leave enough space, and I'll run this back down. And this gets hidden. So you won't even see this here. Okay. If you want to like tie, tie something off, such a bracelet or a uh, lanyard of some sort, take this here on every Turk's head, at, le at least I do, and I run it back down through the middle. So all, both my cords are coming out on the right side from where I'm tying, where I started at, and uh, cut and tuck them after you tied it up. Copy, copy, copy. Happy, happy, happy.